Hello, welcome to Anu's classroom. In this session, we will be talking about multivariate analysis of data. From the exam point of view, this is once again one of the important units that you will have to study. Actually, block 3 is one of those un blocks where from where most questions have been asked. At least one major like 20 mark question and a few short notes for uh, short note type of questions have come up from this uh, block number 3. So, if you are planning on studying any block, definitely block number 3 should be one of it and this is again from block number 3 which talks about multivariate analysis of data. Uh, so, this session again, I will just give you a brief about the concepts that are, give, uh, uh, that are being discussed in this unit. Uh, but do not take this as a substitute for reading that unit, definitely not. This is only meant as an ice breaking session and uh, I strongly suggest you go ahead and prepare well this block number 3 before going for your term and examinations, okay. So a few of the things that we will be discussing in this unit are regression analysis, discriminant analysis and factor analysis. Now let me tell you once again, all these three get repeated at least one question or say if regression comes as a uh, 20 mark question then you might get a short note on factor analysis or discriminant analysis. If factor analysis has come as a 20 mark question then you would get regression analysis or at least discriminant analysis as a short note question. So all these three, in fact I guess uh, the past 10 question papers, 10 uh, the past uh, 10 or so question papers which I checked out in order to gain a better insight on how or what are the concepts that are being asked. I found that all these three points, all these three uh, topics get asked almost every year. That is why I am again saying please only take this session as an icebreaker and go and prepare this unit. At least this unit, I would say block three for sure perfectly before you hit your term and examinations, right? And also sometimes regression analysis questions have come as numericals also. Now, numericals are uh, if you can prepare for numericals well and fine but i think like um, numericals also again i have seen that mostly get asked from this block number two or three block number one and four don't have much numericals block number four i don't think has any numericals it is either block number three or maybe some block number two also doesn't have it is block number three mainly from where even numericals get asked so there will only be one numerical which is actually a compulsory section section b is compulsory but it is not mandatory that you get the correct answer to pass. If you can get section A properly, if you can get, uh, if you can attempt three questions from section A satisfactorily also, you will get 60 marks. Three. Mm. And if you can attend all four, then also you will get 80 marks, which is more than enough to get good marks, good grades, right? Combined with your assignment grades. So, if you are a little bit weak in numericals, rather than trying to beat your head around it, smart way to prepare would be definitely focusing on the theory and making sure you know end to end of the theory so that you will be able to score all 80 marks from the theory part itself. Definitely when you prepare like that for theory, you are bound to at least be able to get at least 5 marks by quoting the formula or writing down the graph and all from section B also. Right? So, all in all, you will get very good grades in the mark sheet. So, play to your strengths. That is the one advice that I want to give to you. So, coming back to our concept here. Regression analysis. We will talk about regression analysis. Again, multiple question papers I have seen regression analysis being asked. Of the 10 question papers I checked, 40% uh, around 4 questions I saw. 4, four years regression analysis uh, has been asked. Okay, so regression analysis, what is it? It is a statistical method that shows the relationship between two or more variables. This is again not a new concept to us. We have already studied about regression in our first semester. And regression analysis is usually expressed in a graph. And the method tests the relationship between a dependent variable against an independent variable. Like for example, if the dependent variable is the sales and independent variable is the price, we can check whether price fluctuations affect sales. The main use of regression analysis is for forecasting time series modeling as well as finding the cause and effect relationship between variables. So, the formulate, so formulating a regression analysis will help us predict the effects of the independent variable on our dependent one. 
For example, we can say that the age and height can be described using a linear regression model. Since a person's height will increase as the age increases, they will have a linear relationship. So these kind of things are used regression analysis. What is discriminant analysis now? Discriminant analysis or DA is a multivariate technique that is used to separate two or more groups of observations or individuals based on variables measured on each experimental unit or a sample and find the contribution of each variable in separating the groups. Now, discriminant analysis is a versatile statistical method which is often used by market researchers to classify observations into two or more groups or categories. In other words, we can say that discriminant analysis is used to assign objects to one group among a number of known groups. The methods implemented in this area are discriminant analysis, Fisher's linear discriminant analysis, K nearest neighbors discriminant analysis and uh, this MDA that is multiple discriminant analysis is also termed as the discriminant factor analysis and canonical discriminant analysis. Okay, so this is about discriminant analysis. It is a very important topic. I must say, I am saying it again. You should prepare it very well for your term and examination. The next is the factor analysis. So factor analysis is again a very powerful data reduction technique which enables researchers to investigate the concepts that are not easily measured directly. Like uh, by boiling down a large number of variables into say a handful of comprehensible underlying factors, we will, this analysis technique will make our results in a very easy to understand actionable data. Factor analysis can be used to simplify data like reducing the number of variables in our regression models and there may, there are mainly three types of factor analysis that we do, exploratory factor analysis, confirmatory factor analysis as well as structural equation modeling. These are the various types of factor analysis that we can do. These kind of things we generally do while we are doing feature engineering uh, in uh, data analysis. Okay, wherein we will try to combine the many, many uh, interrelated uh, uh, factors or uh, what you can say columns, uh, data characteristics into manageable smaller sets of data. Maybe like we will combine multiple characteristics into a one representative character and all. Okay, so these are things that we do as part of fact, uh, feature engineering while we are performing data analysis. Okay, so again, this is an important topic. Uh, once again, as we are winding up this unit, I want to tell you again and again, this is a very important topic, very important unit. Definitely study and go. Do not skip it at any cost. Okay. So those are the three main things that we have to learn about in unit 10. I hope you got a generic idea of these three topics. Once again, thank you so much for tuning into Anu's classroom. All the very best for your term and examinations. Take care. Bye-bye.